Hey everybody, welcome to Texas Chat. I'm Serge. I'm Rob. I'm Gen Z. I am Gen X. And today we got a special video for you guys. So as you know, um, going into Halo 3, we had uh, Rob react to some of the Halo 3 trailers, mm -hmm. um, including the Landfall trailer, and another one was the Believe trailer. Uh, do you recall based off the name, or do you need a refresher? A refresher, yeah. Um, so it was the one where they had all the different like figures and the landscape, and the camera's panning and showing like, different Marines who were mm -hmm. like, getting attacked by brutes and whatnot. Yeah. And then it ended with uh, zooming in on a camera shot of a brute chieftain holding up Master Chief. And it looks like he's defeated, but in his hand he has a plasma grenade and he looks up at the camera and then it says like, believe. Yeah, I, I okay, so I do vaguely remember that, but mm -hmm. I remember that last scene. Yeah, yeah. So um, that trailer was actually part of a, from what I understand, a larger campaign, which is a promotional campaign for Halo 3. And that was known as the Believe campaign. So someone actually recommended this video to us to react to, um, comment on screen. Uh, and so I figured I'd pull it up for us and we react to it. It's uh, Believe campaign full, all interviews. So this is all basically like promotional material for the game. Okay. Um, if I recall correctly, I think I saw a little bit of this like a long time ago. Uh, for Rob, this would be, of course, completely new. But I so saw we haven't seen this then at all. because uh, You haven't seen this for sure. Me, I might have seen it like a long time ago, but my memory is fuzzy. I think the way they set it up is they had like uh, these actors do like these interviews as if it's like marine veteran survivors from the human covenant oh, war cool. and they basically I'm gonna enjoy this yeah and they recount like their experiences in the war and like how master chief might have like played a role in there yeah uh, in their combat service a simulated so. interview i like mm -hmm. that yeah so yeah ready let's play all right here we go guys <laughs> Nations have always built monuments to their heroes, tributes that are defense against or conquest of other nations. But the monument here doesn't favor one nation over another. It is the first of its kind to commemorate the enduring survival of a species, our species. More importantly, it commemorates the man who gave the world faith, who gave humanity a future, who made mankind believe again. Master Chief Petty Officer John 117. Hmm. Hmm. So it's no surprise that the piece itself is special. Begun three years ago in 2607, the monument is a diorama built entirely by hand. It is a three dimensional snapshot of the battlefield and the soldiers who took to it that day. The scene has been reproduced with painstaking attention to detail and authenticity. Only the men and women who were there know it better. Today, we go behind the scenes to see its creation. To ensure historical accuracy, the boot camp induction scans of every Marine involved in the battle were obtained from the United Nations Space Command records. In this way, the artists were able to place the right face to the right soldier. After each face is completed, it is matched to a body which has been rendered complete with uniform and body armor, then carved by hand. I like the detail in this. Mm -hmm. It was the artist's vision for this tribute to humanity that each piece be shaped by the hand of man without the aid of robotic model-making systems. Each handmade soldier is posed, painted, and placed on the battlefield, both the victorious and the fallen. Based on topographical maps of the day, the artists are able to replicate each hill, each plateau, and each ravine to near exact specifications. Hmm. But one of the real marvels is in the cityscape itself. After fighting had ceased, meta-archaeologists unearthed the city's building archives. In them were found perfectly preserved architectural blueprints of every structure in the city. Hmm. But the challenge was not to merely rebuild the structures, it was to tear them down as well. Artists worked from the city plans to recreate the destruction caused by the fierce fighting, from each bullet hole to each piece of exposed rebar. Finally, oh, our enemies that. were also yeah, rendered we with brutes. extraordinary detail. Covenant corpses that had been recovered after the battle provided the models for these fearsome recreations. Oh, Jackal. 
to complete the picture. Jack that brute. Authentic <laughs> I think that was that brute. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. 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 Brute. To complete the picture, yeah, authentic suit. covenant weapons and armor specs were accessed to fully outfit the warriors. Oh, they were into a Once lot the covenant are placed mm -hmm. opposite the marines, a clear image begins to take shape out of the fog of history. We see how we were outnumbered, outgunned, outmatched, and seeing that, we realize the importance of the monument. On that day, half a century ago, our species was half pushed to the crumbling oh, wow. edge of extinction, and as we teetered on that precipice, staring down into the abyss, a hand reached out, pulled us back from the brink, and gave us hope. Mm. The hand yeah, of a hero. Mm -hmm. Oh, the music. Museum of Humanity. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what you remember about the battle? I heard this music in Hill Legends. We'd been fighting for a while. On the seventh day, we ran out of ammo. We had to scavenge all we could from the weapons that had been left behind. See the explosions Pistols, in the water? Mm -hmm. yeah. Shotgun rounds, a handful of grenades. Do you remember where you were? When Master Chief armed his grenade, I was in the back of an overturned warthog firing an M41. How did you manage to keep it together? We knew Master Chief was still in the fight. He gave us hope. I was a sniper. I used a standard high power sniper rifle. At 600 yards, it would go through about 13 feet of flesh and bone. Hmm. What about you? Well, I... I used the shotgun. Could you tell us a bit about that one? Uh, this one, sure. Um, we, we saw a lot of these. This is an old Covenant weapon. It's a spike rifle. We call it the Spiker. And who used it? Well, the Brutes, mostly. Can you show us that one? <laughs> what? The birds. The, the brutes. <laughs> oh, the brutes. I think said the birds. Rob is I keep. You really like to call brutes jackals. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it wasn't just a war only or a battle only with brutes, right? Weren't jackals there too? Because they were. Um, there's, pro there's probably yeah. There's probably all sorts of different species that are involved in the battle. We saw, for example, we saw hunters in the diorama included. So we know there was hunters there as well. Um, what was mentioned there was the sp uh, spiker. I think the only time we really the only species we see using a spiker um, is brutes. Um, brutes. Um, they like to use brutish weapons, um, very like primitive. Um, a lot of, what you'll notice is a lot of brute weapons have serrated blades, such mm -hmm. as the brute shot and the spiker, mm -hmm. um, or spike rifle, and they shoot projectiles like, um, in this case, spikes, because spike rifle. And remember, in it was uh, the Halo Landfall trailer, we saw a spiker actually like impale a marine and marine's like arm, right? And they had to like saw it off, mm -hmm. saw off the. Um, spike round that went through his arm yeah. um so jackals you typically see them using um more plasma based weaponry like such a plasma pistol um you also see or them use sniper rifle or beam yeah. rifle yeah beam rifle yeah. or a carbine rifle so they typically don't use brute weapons um because brute weapons are a bigger slash heavier because the jackals are smaller and just not doesn't fit their fighting style it, uh, it sounds like a little more primitive but highly right. effective. Yeah, right. yeah. Brutes, they kind of have a more primitive um, look to them, really, because they have primitive armor, primitive weaponry. Mm -hmm. um, but they make up what they make up, what they lack in technology, they make up for in sheer strength. strength. Right. Yeah. 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 Cause, and that complements them completely because they just go completely berserk on you. They go, ape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, ready to continue? I, just one more quick comment. Mm -hmm. um, outstanding um, models here in the yeah. detail. Yeah. The attention to detail is really neat. Pretty cool, but and I like how they set this up mm -hmm. as a, an actual documentary interviewing right. old veterans who were actually in the battle. Um, you know, you could watch this and think, "Wow, did that really happen?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you're a kid, you know. But mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So they set it up as if it's like um, for real. So. Yeah. Sure. Um, it was a. They used it as a handgun. 
They even got <laughs> lights on it. That's heavy. Holding an enemy weapon like this is, uh, feels... Uh, I don't like it. If, um, if you'd have told me a few years ago we would be here in this place talking about this, I would have said, no way, it's not going to happen. Hmm. If there's one reason why we're here, um, I would say it's, uh, <coughs> it's because of the chief. Master Chief. Yep. John 117. Made by a plasma rifle. Hmm. That's pretty cool. They did that with the tree. Yeah. This is it. Right here. This is it. Burned like a plasma rifle would have burned it. Mm -hmm. I bet I can remember every one of these. Well, trees. did he say it was kind of quiet there? Let's just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. Catch that. This is it. Right here. This is this it. Is right here. No, no. The last. I got those parts. There's. Right here. This is the spot. This was the spot. Yeah. I bet I can remember every one of these trees. How did your platoon get picked down here? We got word the Covenant was out here hunting us. And that Master Chief wouldn't be able to rendezvous with us until dawn, so... We had to go dark. Go dawn? Uh, it's no helmet lights, no readouts, nothing that will give away our positions. Like rabbits down a hole. Invisible. Do you mind if we turn the lights off? Okay, all right. Hmm. What happened then? For seven hours, we couldn't do anything but be still and listen to them haunting us. For the first time in 43 years, Lieutenant Shah returns to the site of the battle. What is that? A shell from a sniper rifle. It's amazing there's still so many remnants out here. Where's Master Chief's grave? I don't think anyone really knows. Mm -hmm. There was a ceremony five years ago over there. Ah. Just as interesting. Is that the top of the hill? Yeah, here, let me. Five years ago? I wanna, I wanna pause over that there? Points. Yeah, so somewhere over there, I guess it's pointing over in that direction. So that was the one where you, you yeah, The Arbiter was with, with um, uh, yeah, Lord Hood. Yeah. Yeah, and they had that kind of the firing salute on the hill mm -hmm. where the Marines were lined up, mm -hmm. and they had that little, like, the piece of like I don't know what it's called like the like a monument of some type. yeah there, and there's they had all the pi pictures um, on there like they had a picture of Miranda of Sergeant Johnson mm -hmm. and then etched into the side of the medal was one one seven. seven and what's interesting here so this is taking fi place five years after that mm -hmm. so the covenant is kind of basically gone there's a and truth and there's peace. A truce and peace so this is all after the fact that it's being documented yeah um, and it's interesting they did a point like the Master Chiefs like basically funeral was held in that area mm -hmm. and this is he's gone he's in space somewhere but they don't know that they don't know they think mm -hmm. he's dead but he's actually um uh with um cortana mm -hmm. on the back end of the ship that broke apart yeah and probably what i always contend is that he went to that planet where there's mm. a remnant that's rob stewie yeah i guess we'll find out yeah we'll find out once we, once we reach halo 4 of course still got games to go <laughs> oh so halo 4 is after reach yeah. Okay, and then that's where we pick up with 117? Right. Okay, not to go down rabbit's hole, but uh, yeah, I'm still piecing this all together here. <laughs> Got it. So, yeah. Ready to continue? Yeah. Here we go. Just as a symbolic gesture, the coffin was empty. Why was the coffin mm. empty? No Spartan could be listed as KIA. They could only be listed as MIA, missing. So it could be said, but no Spartan was ever killed in combat. So the ceremony was tribute, mm. more than a burial. Mm. Tribute more than a like burial. Much. 
Chief told me once that no soldier should be honored for doing what is expected. Do you believe that? I did, and I still do. Hmm. That was the response to, it doesn't look like much, Master Chief's monument. Look at the brute, the ex expression. Look at that face. Yeah. So I think this is the belief trailer part that we reacted to before, where it showcases that whole setup. You know, if you go back 10 seconds, uh, I just want to point out one thing here, or ask a question. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, maybe one more. Oh, back? Yeah, back. So I... that's a brute holding a guy up. And then here. Yeah. Is that a, a brute? No, no. That no. looks like a... So here's a brute right here. Yeah. These are hunters. Oh, the pair okay. of hunters. You can see yeah, the... Yeah, I can see the hunter You here. can see the shield. Yeah. On the hunter's arm. And then the other arm, they always have a cannon. Yeah. That they used to shoot. So pretty tall. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I would have missed that. But uh, with the shill, I, I recognize. Yep. Look how, yeah, and their sheer size. Mm hmm Crossbones on his helmet there. There's the jackals. Oh, yeah, they're <laughs> carrying someone off. Mm. There he is. Yep. Holding Chief's rifle, but Chief has the grenade. <laughs> nice. They even give you a little Excellent. refresher. Excellent. Yeah. Even here, it's mentioned um, the last parts in standing against an angry tide. Mm -hmm. This kind of plays into that original um, story arc that Bungie had, which was Chief is the last, the last survivor. One. Yeah. I like this one. While he shapes his own history, history. he in turn, turn shapes, shapes the history, history of all who follow. follow. Wow. Yeah. And it looks like this is a medal. Um, is it either presented to him or? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because here it says, but Master Chief's greatest achievement reaches far beyond what any medal could ever hope to uh, com could ever hope to commemorate. So this is a medal in his honor, uh, awarded posthumously. Hu it's hard to pronounce. <laughs> oh, yeah, posthumously. Posthumously yeah. is post-death, basically. Yeah. Um, well, at least they think he's dead, right? We know because of the uh, ending that that's not he's the case. Not. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's in Frozen Soup right now. He's in Cryo. In Cryo, yeah. Yep. Yeah. With Katana watching. Oh, actually zooms out. Let's see. I skipped ahead so we can zoom out. I like that statement there. Yep. A hero need not speak. When he is gone, the world will speak for him. Yeah. And look at that. You can see. Chief yeah. in the yeah. battlefield. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So that was a nice, that was the belief campaign, Rob. What do you think? Yeah, this is this is really cool. Nice job, whoever put this together. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, this, this is, is I, I think I think what they did was this is a compilation. So they basically took all these different um, promotional material that was put out in uh, anticipation of the game releasing, and then they compiled it all in one video too. Uh, it was a pretty long video. Yeah. So all this was originally made by Bungie then, 
Right, yeah. I see. Well, because Halo 3 came out during the Bungie era. Yeah. And Bungie era was Halo Combat Evolved, Halo uh, 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo Reach. Right. Um, Halo Reach was the final uh, Halo that they, they put out. Mm hmm so but Bungie uh, because they're part of the uh, the OG right they mm -hmm. uh, they created these trailers yep and this guy uh, who's the bamboozler <laughs> yeah the uh, must have been from the watermark the bamboozler which is the name of this channel the one who basically just combined, combined them yeah made yeah. a compilation yeah. yeah as always uh, link to original video is in the description below so yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. But, but what I think uh, yeah it's, it's really cool if I had not been okay so i've been playing uh this and i'm thinking yeah let's jump into it right mm -hmm. and, and start playing again if i did not this would kind of be uh, an inspiration to uh mm -hmm. to play it but mm -hmm. what they did was so good in that it seemed like a, an actual documentary yeah yeah i like how they did it um it just helps kind of fill in some more um bits because before we only saw the the last towards the end there the trailer with like where it had the piano music playing and it showed different perspectives on the battlefield mm -hmm. which by the way guys if you haven't checked out already um rob's reaction to the believe trailer is on our channel mm -hmm. so but check it out yeah <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said we hope you guys enjoy watching this with us make sure you like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for more videos and see you in the next one see you very soon okay all right take care guys <laughs> Just...